hi guys welcome to a new video in this video we're making this simple waistcoat i haven't gotten around to putting a buttonhole on it so that's why i couldn't button it but i'm just holding it up for you to see what it looks like if this is something you're interested in please keep watching also please don't forget to like share comment subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be notified whenever i make a new a new post so this is my pattern i've gone ahead to label my buttonhole just like you have your zip allowance my bust point waistline and then two inches after my waistline is the length of this waistcoat now i'm going to come down by 8.5 inches from my shoulder line to get my chest line i'm going to really line across and then i'm going to label chest line don't forget to take out some inches for your buttonhole allowance like two inches or 1.5 just like you would do for zip on my shoulder line i'm marking my neck width which is 3.5 and then my shoulder measurement which is 7.5 inches from the 7.5 i'll go down by one inch to get my shoulder slope and connect it into my neckline just like so on my chest line i also mark my shoulder measurement and then i'm going to connect with a straight line to meet the shoulder just like this now on my armhole line i'm going to be getting the midpoint i'll mark a point there i'll go in by half an inch i'll mark a point and then on my chest line i'll go in by my bust point measurement which is 9.5 the next thing to do is to connect the three points together like so to get your armhole so for my neck length i'm also going to be using 8.5 which is my chest line i'm just going to connect it to my chest line in a v just like you see me do so that's my um, neckline now excluding the buttonhole please this four inches is not going to start from the buttonhole i'm going to be marking my nipple to nipple measurement which is four inches and i'm going to connect with a straight line just like you see me doing now on my waistline i'm going to be going out by half inch on both sides of my dart line and then i'm going to be connecting it to my boss point just like so just to create a dart basically after doing that the next thing is to come to my armhole line and measure out 3.5 inches and then i'm going to be marking the point there i'm going to get my ruler and i'm going to connect in a curve to my boss point after doing that the next thing is to come down by one inch this is just to tighten the armhole a little bit because this is going to be sleeveless and then you're just going to connect it to the boss point just to reduce gaping on that area and tighten it a little bit this is what you have by the time you are done now you're also going to extend that line by one inch just like i'm doing extend by one inch and connect it to the previous points you've already made and then you're going to connect it to your boss point measurement just like i'm doing so this is exactly what you have so i'm just using my marker to make this line a little more visible after getting that the next thing to do is to add my allowance and a little bit of ease because i don't want this to be tight I'm also going to put my measurement on my waistline, add my allowance and then my dart allowance and then connect it like so. Now on the full length of this top, I'm just going to like, open it up a little bit because this doesn't get to my hip so I can't use my hip measurement. But then I don't want it to be my actual waistline because it will be tight. So just open it up a little bit. Now from your length, you are going to go down by 4 inches and then you are going to rule a line across. So this line is just going to serve as my extension. And this is just for the front because the front is usually longer than the back. From the buttonhole line, mark 3 inches on my extension line and then connect from that 3 inches to the length of your gown in a slant. Just like I'm doing. Please watch what I'm doing. Now from the buttonhole, you're going to extend it to that 3 inches on the extension line to create a little bit of a V effect. Please just watch what I'm doing. After doing that, then I'm going to go ahead and take my darts, just going by 4 inches, the same way you usually take your dart measurement to create a dart on that area. I'm just using my marker to make the dart lines more visible. Now I'm going to be taking my boss dart, which is one... 0.5 inches so you're going to come down by 1.5 inches from your boss point line and then you're going to connect it in a slant to your boss point 
So this area that I'm marking is just going to be cut out. So that's all for the front of this waistcoat. I'm just going to go ahead and cut following the lines. Please watch how I'm cutting carefully. After taking in the side that you're just going to straighten this line so it will be accurate. Then you're going to continue cutting. So as I was cutting, I remember the last waistcoat I made had a little gaping in the neck area. It, it, didn't, it wasn't firm. It didn't balance a little bit. So I tried to take out half inch allowance, like a half inch dart to tighten the neckline a little bit. I don't think this is compulsory, but I think it makes a little bit of difference if you can do it. When you remove it that it messes the line up a little bit so you're just going to go ahead and straighten it then cut it and this is what you have for the front pattern i'll go ahead to cut out the back pattern for the back piece i've already gone ahead to label my chest line which is 8.5 inches my waistline which is 15 inches for the front it is 16.5 inches why for the back it is 15 inches that's why i took the side that of 1.5 inches on my shoulder line i'm taking my neck width and then my shoulder measurements came down by one inch to get my shoulder slope and then i'm going to be coming down by 1.5 inches to get my neck depth I'll mark my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5 on my chest line. And then I'm going to connect the point up like so to get my armhole line. I'm going to get the midpoint of my armhole line. And then I'm going to go in by half an inch. On my chest line, I'm also going to mark my bust point measurement, which is 9.5. And I'm going to be connecting the three points together to get my armhole On my waistline, I'm going to be taking half of my nipple to nipple, which is 4 inches. I'm going to do it on all lines and connect it with a straight After line. After which, I'm going to be coming out by half an inch on both sides on the waistline. And then I'm just going to connect to my chest line to get my dart. And then connect from my waistline to the length of this waistcoat to get my lower dart. I'm going to go ahead and add my allowance for both ease and sewing allowance. I'll do the same on my waistline and then I'm going to connect it. I'm just going to place the side of the front to be sure they match and they do, they match. So that's okay for the back. I'll just go ahead now and cut it out. So this is what I have for both the front and my back pattern. The next thing to do is to place on your fabric and cut out, leaving out half an inch on all sides. The half inch is going to serve as my joining allowance. I've also gone ahead to cut out lining pieces that are identical. Just whatever you cut on your actual fabric, cut it on your lining. And on my lining piece, I've gone ahead to iron out interfacing on it just to give it a little bit of firmness. The next thing to do is to start sewing and for that you're just going to open this up this is the center front you're just going to be sewing the side front on both sides of the center front so you're going to go ahead and pin this up you're going to do the same thing for the other side then sew by half an inch whatever you are doing to the front piece to the actual fabric do it to the lining now for the back the only thing you need to do is to take your dart intake you're just going to repeat this on both the actual fabric and the lining piece now after joining both pieces of the center and side front this is exactly what you'll be having this is what i had i repeated the exact same thing for the lining piece and this is what it looks like now after taking my dart for the back this is what it looks like please ignore the dark spot it is actually water on the fabric i'm going to place this and join the shoulders by half an inch and i'm going to repeat the exact same thing for the lining piece so join the shoulders by half an inch 
So after joining the shoulders and ironing, my iron is actually bringing out water. That's what's causing the stain on this fabric. So just ignore. I've ironed it and this is what it looks like. I've repeated the same thing for the lining piece and this is what I have. Now the next thing to do is to place the lining on the fabric right side facing each other. Right side facing each other. I'm just going ahead to pin this down so it will be firm pin this down and then you're going to go and sew round the neckline of both the front and the back after that you're going to give it a good notch you can also use a hemming gum to iron this so when by the time you're done turning it it will be very neat and flat so i've gone ahead to turn this out this is exactly what it looks like as you can see it's not very neat yet but now i've gone ahead to iron it and it has laid very flat so this is what the neckline looks like after ironing thoroughly after the day you're going to open it turn it over to the wrong side again just like i'm doing now and then you're just going to sew on this button hole area you're going to do that on both sides so you can use a hemming gum on this area so by the time you turn them outside they lay very flat because of the hemming gum I'm going to repeat the same thing that's for the bottom of the back i'm just going to sew around the bottom of the back just you're going to be turning every part of this fabric except the sides basically so you're just going to turn you're going to turn the armhole don't forget to use a hemming gum so it will lay very flat turn the armhole the down part of this fabric the only part that will be open is the side so please just watch what i'm doing Now, after sewing, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to notch the armhole area. And then I'm going to... You're going to put your hand from the side. Just watch what I'm doing. And then you're going to drag it. You're going to drag the back from the front. Please just watch what I'm doing carefully. So you know how to bring out your fabric by the time you are done sewing the armhole. So by the time you are done turning it over to the right side this is exactly what you are going to be having you are almost done with this style at this point this is what it looks like so i'm just going to go ahead and give it a very good press give it a very thorough ironing so everything lays very flat so after ironing thoroughly this is exactly what it is looking like it is coming out nice the next thing i'll do is to turn my bottom part of the front so you're just going to place it right side facing right side just watch what i'm doing it is not difficult so after doing that as you can see i used my hemming gum so it will lay very flat just notch it you can reduce the allowance so it will turn very neat and flat like i'm trying to do here and then turn it over to the right side and give it a very good press this is actually very simple after i was done this is exactly what it was looking like so far as you can see the only part of this that is actually not that is still open is just the side so it's just the side that is actually still open the sides of both the front and the back now i would have turned this in but i was actually so tired i filmed this tutorial very late in the night so i just decided to put in my measurements and there's no need to put in your measurement. I actually just use one inches to join all sides of this. So I'm just going to be marking one inch and then I'm going to go and stitch it down. Use my weaving machine to weave the sides. So it's just like an easy way to do it. It's not the best way, but I was already so tired. So I just decided to weave the sides. So after doing that, this is exactly what it looks like and i think it came out very nicely i've not added my buttons but if i do it will be very very nice so if you enjoyed the tutorial please like share comment and subscribe thank you and see you in my next video